If you often browse on the internet, maybe you casually check your emails or you browse through your social media feeds or your favorite websites, the chances are you have been tracked in some way. Whether it's advertisers logging in your user habits and creating a profile of you, or whether it's Big Brother potentially snooping in on your emails, we are all at risk of being tracked online. And in this video, I'm going to show you the top five places you are likely to be tracked on a daily basis. The number one spot on this list is obviously going to be our social media accounts. Now, social media tracking is perhaps one of the most treasured methods utilized by advertisers. Now, through social media, we tend to give a very detailed profile of our user habits, our likes, our hobbies, and a lot more. It's basically a gold mine of information just waiting to be tapped by third party advertisers. Now, Facebook will take your information and pass it along to Facebook advertisers who can then tailor ads to suit your interests. Twitter isn't any better. Last year, they announced that they would collect information on all other apps a user has downloaded onto their phone to help improve targeted advertising. Now, if you think you're safe on Instagram, well, think again. The popular app geotags your images every single time you upload a photo, even if you did not use the name this location feature. Search engines are essential for us to find what we're looking for online, but unfortunately, they can also be used to track our activity. Now, Google in particular will tell you their ads to suit your interests based on your search history. And Google is constantly trying to build a consumer profile of you and will even filter their search results for you based on your first search history. Yahoo and Bing are not that different either. They tend to plant cookies on your computer to store your information and remember your location. Now, did you know that you can be tracked by companies whenever you open an email? You see, by merely clicking to open that email, you are relaying to the sender not only that you've opened it, but also where you were and on what device you used. Now, this technology has been used by marketers and advertisers for many years but also by fraudsters, unfortunately. Your favorite websites may be tracking you more than you think. Now, these websites tend to use cookies to store your information alongside directing remarketing ads to you whenever you visit other websites. Now, when you visit such websites, you're also potentially sharing extra data, such as your IP address, which can reveal your location. Now, last but not least would be your downloaded apps. Now, the apps you install on your phone can be used to profile you on social media sites such as Twitter. Also, the apps you've downloaded may be tracking your location without your knowledge by using your phone's GPS. So it's important to keep tabs on which apps have access to such sensitive information. Now I'm going to give you five quick tips to make it really hard for companies to track you online. And the very first tip here would be to make use of a reliable VPN. Virtual private networks are fantastic for ensuring your privacy whenever you browse the internet. Second would be to exercise some caution whenever you receive a suspicious email. Think twice before you open that email or click on any of the links in such suspicious emails. Third would be to clear your search engine browsing cache as frequently as you can. Remember that every single browser you use will keep track of your browsing history and that can be used to track you. Fourth would be to adjust your privacy settings on your social media accounts and apps to help protect your privacy. And finally, adjust your location services on your mobile device by disabling GPS tracking. 